guys, it's me again. Welcome back to another video. Um, today I just wanted to go over three games that have evolved my skill in chess. Um, this is going to be a little bit different than my other videos. So I'm going to go over a game that I played my first ever game, which is this one. I have I lost this one. Um, the next game and the game after that will be my first win and my peak ELO rating. So this game I have here. I am 944 as you can see, I this is a fresh new account, um, and I obviously have no idea what I'm doing. This is my first time playing chess, this is my first time playing chess online and in general professionally like this, and you're going to see how this game goes, so sit back and relax and enjoy the video. So I played f4, so you, I'm a noob because as you can see it's minus 0.3 already, and he went e6. I went e4, it's d5, this is a French event. The Bordenez variation, and I gave a check because I don't know what I'm doing. I know the rules of chess, but I don't know how to play on a complicated level. Like a 3-400, I think, in this game, uh, like the game review said. Uh, he played c6, which is probably the best move, and I played bishop e2, so I played bishop back. But the thing is, e4 is hanging, so he can take that, but he doesn't. He plays knight f6, which is kind of back to equal, basically. Because he could have just taken my pawn on e4, so then I push it, which I thought at the time was a good move. He put his knight in the center, which is a really good move as well. Uh, I played d4, which is not the best. f6, bishop h5, check. Now, here's where things get crazy. Okay. I played this check. When I was deciding what to play, I didn't know what to play at all. So I gave check. Because, like, check. I thought you get a second move. Like, that's how I thought when I used to play the game. He played g6 and I took the pawn. Now, this is where my 3 to 400 level, elo level comes in because I took the pawn and he just took. I wasn't thinking anything of it so I played bishop e3 and he played c5 which is a pretty good move. And then we just traded a, a few pieces and I played knight e2. Now, this is a bad move for some reason. I'm not sure why since I don't have the analysis up with me right now. But he took, took, and he played queen g4. Um, now what's funny is that I could have defended my pawn, but it doesn't even matter because he doesn't take it. He plays knight e4. I play rook c1, which is a bad move because he just takes my knight. But this is where it all started going downhill because I didn't take his knight. I played h3. Now, I don't know why I played the h3. If you gave me like three million dollars, I would not be able to explain this to you. And he took my pawn. And I didn't even take the knight again. I played rook f1. But that just loses a rook. He took my rook with check. I took his knight. He took my pawn. And here I thought I was like winning for some reason. I played queen f1. He played knight c6. And I played queen f6. He played queen g4, and that's not a good move because obviously it hangs the rook, but I don't even take the rook. I play knight f4. This is cringe. I'm trying to race him in a battle for checkmate, but it's not working as you can see. He played rook f8. I don't do both of those moves. Instead, I take the pawn with check, and little did I realize the bishop could take, and so he takes the bishop, and I play knight d3 back, which I guess is a fine move. But he finds maiden 3, queen g2, king c3. Instead, he went queen e4, which it doesn't matter anyways because he's going to deliver checkmate. So, but yeah, that was the first game. I was pretty dang new to the game. And I played like a 3-400 elo player. So, honestly, critique me as much as you want. Why my elo was 904 and I was playing a 10 8 But, I mean, it is what it is. And this game is a game that I played recently. I think I played this yesterday. Um, I play with the white pieces. My This is my peak ELO, 1400. I'm not there at the moment. I was 1392 before this game. And I played this game and I reached 1400. So I played e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6. And I played d4, which is a scotch game. I, I recently made a video on this opening you guys can go check it out i'll put a link in the description and also in the comments if you don't look at the description 
um, he took my pawn, I took my, his pawn with my knight, he took my knight, and I took his knight. So, this position is better for me because I have more development, as you can see, and I have a center pawn. So, he plays queen f6, which is the best move, and I play queen c4, which is also the best move. So, this is my theory. Um, he plays bishop d6. Now, one thing, I'm just going to say this. You don't don't ever block your center pawns with bishop or a knight um, because it's gonna be harder for you to challenge the center and possibly you know take it yourself. So I play knight c6, which I thought was a good move, developing a piece obviously. And he plays knight e7. I play f4. Now my intention here, I know the eval bar just dropped a ton. But my intention here was to play f4 and e5, but I lost the pawn, and I I didn't count. That's on me. I didn't count my material. I didn't count anything. So I took the bishop, and he took my bishop, obviously. Uh, I played queen d3, which I thought at the time wasn't a bad move, but as you can see from the evaluation bar, it's minus 1.3 now. And he castled, which is a good move, obviously. Getting your king to safety is not a bad move at all. I play g3, which I think is the best move in this position. I haven't actually game reviewed this, but I'm just going off instincts. He played queen g5, and I play bishop g2, just preparing to short castle as well. I don't want to get into a fight and long castle, plus I can't do that. It's illegal to long castle right now because of the queen. He played rook d8. Rook e8, I should say, pardon me, rook e8 hit is the move that he played, and I played castles. Short castles, I should say. And I thought we were still equal, but he's slightly better because he's up a pawn. So he plays d6, obviously stopping me from playing e5. So I play queen c4 again, targeting c7. And he plays c5. Now, as you can tell, he missed something here. This is clearly a fork between the t these two pawns, and he tried. He protected the wrong one, so I took on f7 with check, and he plays this. I take his rook, and the only move he has is this, and then I just bring my rook. Like, who's stopping this? You can play this, but I just take. So you can't really do that. But then he takes. Yes. But I'm still at material. So you can play this, but I also just take. Like, it doesn't really matter. But that's my game. He just resigned from this position. As you can see, he resigned. And I wish I could continue playing this game because, honestly, don't resign. People resign so early, and then just don't think ahead. Like, what if I blunder my rook, or my queen even, in the end game? What if I allow him to promote another queen? You know, like, I don't, like, intermediate players are really different. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.